the given uh, expression, which is a nested radical, and we want to write into the rational exponents. So let me rewrite everything again. Let me take a pen and let me write everything. So what do we have here? Here is a a x in exponent m. The other radical we have a b in x in uh, x in exponent n. But uh, this uh, radical no, I want to write in the exponential form as uh, rational exponents. If we, I want to write as, as uh, the rational exponents, I can write this one time x in a p divided by by c. And now this we can rewrite in the other form. So let me rewrite. So here is a a x in exponent n m. So this is a m. So just let me indicate better. And here this one is a b. And because we have uh, the multiplication of uh, the exponents here with the same base, I can write to the same base x, which happens to be n plus a p divided by c. And this one we can uh, we can rearrange a little bit so to look a little bit better so easy to manage. X in exponent m is here and inside of this radical we can add those those to the fraction here what we have. So let's say I want this to make a c. I multiply here by c. And what do we have here? We have a x in exponent n c plus p everything divided by c. So we are in this uh, situation now. And now and the, we just forgot that this one was a b. So this exponent is a b. And now we wanted to write, so let me extend a little bit this one. So this one we can write in this form. So let's say this is a a, index a, the radicand is in exponent m, and what do we have here? We have uh, this expression, but this expression now, I wanted to write this expression into the rational exponents. And to write in the rational exponents, let me write here x. So this is a multiplication here. And I have a nc plus p divided by c. Everything here is divided by b, so in this form. And if we are going with a double, uh, double, uh, uh, double fraction, I can uh, multiply those two and those going to be the outside, the outside, uh, uh, the outside with the outside and they are going to be numerator, and these two inside with the inside if I am uh, multiplying are going to be as uh, the numerator. And if I want to write in a better form, this one here I can write in this form. So this is a a times uh, x in a m. And I wanted to simplify a little bit, so this is a double fraction into a single fraction, which I can write uh, nc plus p, and everything here divided by b times c. And again, we have uh, the same, uh, the, we, are, we are multiplying with the same base, and we have uh, exponents, but in this case, uh, rational exponents. And in this case, uh, we can write this form. So this is a a, and now I am multiplying, which happens to be n m. So this is a m. I'm sorry, I'm keeping, I'm keep forgetting, I'm keep writing this n, but this is a m, and is a plus a n c plus p is a divided by b times c. And now what do we have here? We are in this situation, but in this case here, I wanted to make the denominator here the same as in this form. I multiply by bc this exponent and this one by bc. And uh, finally, this form here we can write, uh, we can uh, simplify a little bit more or rearrange it better. And x is going to be equal with the mbc. Okay, and here divided by bc, which is a plus uh, nc plus p. And as I mentioned before, this one we can write, so this, uh, this uh, power, what we have here, which happens to be rational power or rational exponents, we can write uh, in the whole thing, uh, this uh, radical we can write as a, an, a, an, uh, a rational exponent, which happens to be here uh, m b c plus n c plus p, everything here is uh, divided by b c, but everything here is divided by a. 
And uh, finally, as I mentioned before, if you are going with the double fraction, outside with the outside, if you are multiplying and inside with the inside, so the outside the, uh, product is going to be the numerator. And uh, finally, so let's just let me write it with a different uh, color. So x is going to be equal with the mbc plus mc plus p and divided by when we are multiplying this product is here is going to be abc a times b times c so this is the final uh, the final answer